Hello everyone, welcome back to the Shonky Lab. I'm Elton and we are here to talk about some song lyrics. We are, I don't know whether we're going to be dissecting some or listening, uh, what are we going to be doing? It's going to be talking about misheard lyrics and dissecting some lyrics and other lyrics. I don't know, that's what I'm guessing we're going to be doing. Yeah, uh, can I, do you want me to say something? <laughs> yeah, go on, say something, yeah. Yeah, please, okay, help. Okay. I need Sorry. help. Hello, I'm getting tired. Hello, I'm Lee. Hello, hello everybody. Um, yeah, and no, I thought we we discussed basically we were gonna we're talking about song lyrics that we've misheard, mm-hmm. and, and that we thought were saying one thing and they end up saying another, and then um, and also um, yeah, song lyrics that are act- actually complete and utter nonsense because. I don't know. I don't. I feel like I'm taking over. No, 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 no. You're you're fine because I I've got a list of songs that yeah are quite cringy, and also they they have like a an undertone to them, and you're like, oh dear, I didn't really realise that. And also like comedy songs as well. Comedy songs oh. they're, they're supposed to be funny, aren't they? Well, are they though? But I mean, there are, there are some that are clearly made to be comedy songs. And so, does that null and void them? Well, yeah. I mean, if you, if, if, I mean, would you class Aqua's Barbie Girl as a comedy song? Oh. You see? Because yeah. that's, that, that's clearly bollocks and it has lyrics which are complete and utter bollocks. But is it a comedy song? Or is it, or is it a real one? Uh, okay, right. I'm, I'm going to press the, um, the, <laughs> the go button on this this podcast so we're going for 45 minutes this time aren't we yes okay, i believe right. so okay right so i'm starting that now there we go right we're, we're in the zone now guys yes so okay Mi- uh, misheard lyrics and other lyrics of songs and songs words that we just get wrong and um yeah i, I suppose we're going to dive into that now because okay right barbie let's talk about right. barbie the barbie yeah. song because you have that which is a comedy song, I think. Is it though? But because oh, I don't know. It, okay, let's take another one. Tenacious D, fuck her gently. Well, yeah, that is clearly, clearly a a comedy song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so the lyrics of that are nonsense and supposed to be nonsense. It's like all the Lonely Island stuff. Yes. Yeah, you know, so you can't really count those because they're meant to be sounding stupid. Uh, you know, anything that has, you know, Michael Bolton turn up and start singing about Captain Jack Sparrow has to be immediately dismissed as, well, that's going to be nonsense because it has to be nonsense because it's funny. Yeah. So then you can't really dive in and dissect what is being said in no. them songs, can you? Not really. Um, oh, sorry. Jim's just jumped in saying Bar- Barbie by Barbie Girl by Aqua is class. I'd class as a novelty record. So, yeah. so, so that's that. So that's sort of along the lines of things like the tweets and Mister Blobby and that oh, sort of thing. Jesus, yeah. So you see, now there's lyrics. There's lyrics we could dissect, which is Blobby, Mister Blobby, 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 Mister Blobby. What okay. do you think they're trying to say with those lyrics? <laughs> Right, okay, I'm I'm Googling Mr. Blobby lyrics. Here we go. I didn't think I'd ever, ever uh, go for this yeah. one. You thought last you thought the last episode's Googling was bad. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> which, which we didn't record, honest. Mr. Yeah. Blobby but, um, lyrics. Go on. Okay, hang on. All right, my computer is being slow, but here well, I, I, Okay, here we go. Here great. Yeah. Blobby, oh Mr. Blobby, oh if you uh, only if you could make us understand, Blobby. Mm. Oh, Mister Blobby, your influence will spread throughout the land. Now, <laughs> there's a lyric to 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 supple your mind with, really, isn't there? Yeah, oh, especially since he ended up in the White House. I mean, that's great. I mean, I, I think he went on to strength to strength. To be honest, <laughs> Mister Blobby, Mister Blobby, you got Russian hookers to piss in your mouth, Mister Blobby, Mister Blobby. You're in the White House now. I mean, that that was the follow-up song. <laughs> Blobby, oh, Mr. Blobby, when disaster strikes, you never get depressed. Blobby, 
Mr. Blobby, you always prove that Blobby is the best. This is fucking Trump, isn't it? It is. It is. And then that means we can blame Noel Edmonds for him. <laughs> we can blame Trump on Noel Edmonds. Okay, right. One of the the um verses, although he's unconventional in hue, his philosophy of life will steer him through. And despite the limitations of his poor coordination, he's he knows he'll show the world a thing or two. It's fucking Trump, man. Yeah, we've unlocked it. It's either that or it's the three, two, one question for winning a speedboat. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. I think I think we I think we can all just hang up and stop recording now. I mean, I think we've just I think we've just cracked it. We've just we've just broken this thing wide open. Mr. Blobby is Trump. Or is yeah. Trump Blobby? Or what oh oh I Donald Trump was in Mr. Blobby's costume. And now, you see. He's out. This is amazing Perfect. stuff. Yeah, I know. See, see, this is this is this is this is next level stuff. We <laughs> we started off thinking we're going to take the piss out of songs, but what we've done is we've gone down the X Files rabbit hole. Yeah, and we now we've unveiled everything. We've we've uncovered everything. Quick, we're gonna get let's get off. out of this rabbit hole. Um, uh, misheard lyrics. What what have you got in that sort of region? Right. Well, the first misheard lyric. I mean, I I mishear a lot of lyrics. I mean, I love. I love sort of lyricless stuff, to be honest. I mean, I don't... Because as soon as you start listening to lyrics, you just think that's just fucking nonsense anyway. When you say lyricless sl- stuff, do you mean yeah. instrumentals? That's the one. That's, what, that's the words I was after. <laughs> but, you, I mean, it's just, when you start listening to lyrics, you think that's bollocks but when you can't hear the lyrics because like for example anything by bob dylan oh okay by him you can't hear really what he's saying because he sounds like he's doing this all the time (laughs) and i could swear to you black was white that he basically used to say these ants are my friend and they are blowing in the wind (laughs) That's all my friend blowing in the wind. So I had a vision of him talking to a colony of little ants and in a really high wind situation and them all just flying off. Well, with the amount of weed and mushrooms that he did in the early and late 60s, then it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, probably. He probably was talking to the ants at that point. Yeah. I mean, but. But it, but that's the thing. As soon as you hear something like that and you can't get it out of your head, mm-hmm. then you can never, you can never hear that song again, even when you know the actual lyrics, without going back to your old thing and going, yeah, the ants are my friend and they're blowing in the wind. <laughs> it's like, oh, I, I, I appear to have destroyed the poet laureate's, you know, one of his most favourite songs. You know, it's like, wow. I can't hear that anymore. Yeah, and yeah, once you learn the words, you still sometimes bounce back to the original version that you had. Exactly. And, you know, and then if someone laughs at it, you kind of get that reaction as well. So you think, oh, hold on, have I done something wrong? Mm. You know, especially if you do, like, karaoke and then get the words completely wrong because you think you know the song back to front and get it wrong. But sometimes That's you it. make a better version. Well... Uh, you say that <laughs> i doubt anyone who actually really likes bob dylan's stuff would be particularly happy about him and his ant colony oh, in no, a tornado well, i i love bob dylan so yeah i'm i've never <laughs> heard that shall we say Although, I, you start thinking about it now it's in your head yeah, it is yeah I, I quite like that version i, I okay I'll, I'll give you one that i had as well okay yeah. um this was Smells Like Teen Spirit. This was when I was back in school. And Kurt Cobain, right. sometimes you couldn't understand a single word he said. Especially Teen Spirit. I yeah. Mean... Uh, well, this this goes to Teen Spirit. And there was, the, uh, with the lights out, it's less dangerous. Here we are now, entertain us. Now, when I first heard that, I heard, with the lights out, it's less dangerous. Here we are now, in containers. <laughs> Do you know, that probably makes more sense, to be honest. I mean, here we are now, in containers. <laughs> I mean, that actually makes a lot of sense. It, I mean, that, 
yeah, it it doesn't. I suppose for a, a teenager looking for some sort of escapism, getting into containers, you would think, "Wow, man, he's talking to my um my inner soul, yeah. where it's just wrapped up and uh, contained, and I want to let that out." Or it's about a beatnik trying to mail himself to another holiday destination. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut some holes in it, I'll be fine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, as long as I don't go in the, the bottom of the hold. Oh, there you go. Martin Thompson come up with a blinder. The police, so lonely, which has the classic, which sounds like, Sulale, Sulale, Sulale. Oh, God, yeah. And you think, why on earth are the police singing about a a BBC radio, a sort of radio, oh, sorry, BBC One news round presenter? Sue Lawley. <laughs> yeah. Sue Lawley. And, and the, the police are the worst. I mean, they, they got loads. I mean, I, I like I say, knowing knowing this was coming up, I was mm. I was sort of okay, you know, I'm gonna listen to a few songs and that I know I had trouble with. And there's like message in a bottle. Yep. A year has passed since I broke my nose. <laughs> And it, I, 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 I always used to think, what the fuck is that about? And then suddenly it's like, oh shit, he's writing a message in the bottle. That's not right, is it? And then it's like, only after like listening to it a hundred times, you go, a year has passed since I wrote my note. But I always had that he broke his nose. And I'm thinking, well, that's, thanks for telling us, but what's that got to do with the song? <laughs> what's that got to do with you trying to send a message out? Steve Bob in the chat says, I always thought that they were singing salami. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, salami, salami. See, and that's the thing. You you sort of sit there and you're going, yeah, 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 this is really good. I'm really into it. And then you suddenly think about the lyrics and you think, this is bollocks. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, um, we will rock you, yeah? Yeah. Well, firstly, it's bunny or a wide man. And it's like, what? And then later on, it's got you got mud on your face, a big disgrace. Kicking your cat all over the place, <laughs> and again, it's only when only when it comes to doing it in karaoke, and you see the words "can" kicking your can all over the place, and it's about someone just just wandering around being bored. Yeah, and, and it's Buddy, not Bunny, and then suddenly it's like, oh, so this isn't about abuse of pets in a in a pet zoo or something, petting zoo, mm-hmm. or about Peter Rabbit being. You know, kicking cats. <laughs> it's actually about you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. Oh dear. Um. Guess. Th- oh, Steve Bob's asking. Guess this song. Samantha Fox has a devil for a sideboard. Uh, that ah. that is uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, isn't it? Yes, that's true. Samantha Fox has a devil for a sideboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I like that. I mean, I always thought the bit with um, save us from save us from a warm tea. I think there's a, there's a bit about that about warm tea. Warm or, tea. Wow, I haven't heard that. Yeah, or um, or a warm sausage dinner. I can't remember that now. Anyway, I don't. <laughs> warm I, I, sausage dinner. Yeah, there was a there was a thing in Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I, it's been a very long time. This one. But it was just like it was like uh, save us from a warm sausage dinner, and I can't remember where it comes in, so I'm not going to follow that down a rabbit hole because obviously I'm clearly sounding like I'm making it up. So I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> but I tell you what, the real classic, the real classic is when they get things when it's very very clear mm-hmm. and again, and then basically, unfortunately, the symbols of the drum drum kit get in the way. Okay. The classic of that is Every Time You Go Away by Paul Young. Right. And my mum used to love Paul Young. She had him all she had his album on tape. And every time but, you go away, you take a yeah, piece, piece of, of and, uh, the music's going the music's going like that. So but the thing is that comes in when he goes, Every time you go away you take a piece of meat with you and it's like 
What? He's taking what? He's taking what? A ham sandwich? A leg of lamb? <laughs> Not some beef in his pockets? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> the power the power of mixing. It's just like, wow. Yeah, you should have dropped off that hi hat, really, shouldn't you? Yeah. Or, or exactly. Just take the treble out a little bit. Yeah, you just take the treble down just a little bit and that would have been fine. But it just it does. If you listen to it again, I guarantee you it's you just cannot you just simply cannot get past that. Every time you go away, you take a piece of meat with you and it's clearly that it's the hi-hat and it's not him but you can't get past that tss, thing like that oh. see i would make up there was um oh hang on it was an <laughs> elo song that i had that i had real trouble with sweet talk <laughs> sweet talking woman i think it is yeah go on and i because I, I i absolutely adored that song but I didn't have the lyrics. Yeah, I had the album, probably had the lyrics knocking around somewhere, but I, I always thought it was a slow down, sweet talking woman. And then I, I would just make up some gibberish words because I didn't know what they were saying. I would come up with them. You're feeling yeah. much of And, you know, just to fill, to fill that blank. <laughs> and it fitted. <laughs> <laughs> but it would fit. And so that would become part of the song. And then that is... That is the song for you. So from then on, you, you don't sing the correct words even when you find them out. Exactly. And like Jim said, it reminds him of the Adamant classic, Stan, eat your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, Andy's going on. He goes, I have no idea what's going on in Smooth Criminal, which is, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get any. You've been hit by a boom, boom. You've been struck by a boom, boom, a Smooth Criminal. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, sometimes I used to think that was smooth caramel, but that's just me. Right, I've got the, I've Go got the Alien Ant Farm version. No, I don't know whether that's exactly the same or not now. Why? I've, Probably. It should be the same, shouldn't it? Anyway, it, it's as he came into the window. So he's talking about someone else straight away. Hmm. Yep. Was the sound of a crescendo. He came into her apartment. Oh, okay. So we we got someone creeping around some woman's apartment already. Yeah. He left the blood stains on the carpet. Okay. So he's right. com- committed a, a crime. We're assuming from a third party. Yes. She was sitting at the table. Yeah. He could see she was unable. Unable what? So she ran into the bedroom. Right. So, so she was sitting at a table. She was unable, but we don't know what unable to do what. I don't know. Yeah. See, this is this is this is slightly off the. This is the other bit, isn't it? This is the lyrics which just don't make any sense whatsoever. There is a story here, but he's only telling you the first part of the each sentence, isn't he? Yeah. It's just. Where are you going with this, mate? What are you actually saying? Because I mean, he's just—he's like he kind of—he's starting to talk, and then he kind of like, and another thing, and um, and oh, another thing, and uh, the, 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 and he kind of—it's all over the place. Hmm. And then she, apparently, after seeing all the murder, he's going, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? And you've been hit by a smooth criminal. It's like, well, does that mean that Annie's the body, or Annie was the woman who ran off? Or is the person who ran off the smooth criminal? Oh, or what? Yeah, it's a it's a half a story, isn't it? It's yeah. one of them things where you do the the picture with your kids and fold it over, and he's mm. he's only done the top part of the song. Yeah, well, I tell you what, here's one that combines the two sides, right? The two sides of these things. I mean, <laughs> hold on, before that, um, Martin Thompson said, I once thought Genesis was singing about an invisible talk show rather than a <laughs> touch. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> you seem to have an invisible talk show. Yeah. Dude, that uh, really does work. That, that would yeah. actually be better, I think, than yeah. invisible touch. Yeah. Well, I always thought Money for Nothing uh, by Dire Straits was Money for Nothing and Chips for Free. And I was thinking, that's yeah. quite. They're getting, they're getting like, like a bag of fried potatoes. 
that is that what you get when you're a when you're a rock star? Money for nothing and your chips for free. <laughs> it's like, really? Okay, if that is that's what you're after. I'm pretty sure you can get other stuff if you're. A... See, when oh. I first heard that, I thought when he he was talking about chicks because I heard the chicks. Did you? I never. Right. But I wasn't digging any girls at the time, and so I just thought it was like newborn little chickens. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just like a 10 year old 11 year old sort of version of it i suppose sitting there going well hang on so why is, so it, what? Why is he getting fresh poultry i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's free he's got some hmm. sort of chicken farm somewhere with you know a um, not far and uh sting <laughs> opening yeah. up their own chicken farm Exactly, exactly. Well, I'll tell you what, here we go. Here's, here's, here's a song which is both has nonsense lyrics and lyrics that you can miss here. So I'll do the nonsense lyrics first. Yep. Because I love this song and I never understood a single word of it. And I used to watch it because it was on MTV when my parents got cable and we could watch MTV. And this was like one of the first songs I saw on it. So here we go. Tell me when you know what the song is, right? Mm-hmm. In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Oh. Butane my veins, and I'm out to cut a junkie with the plastic eyeballs, spray paint the vegetables, dog food skulls with the beefcake pantyhose. Kill the headlights and put it in neutral. Stop car flaming with the loser in cruise control. Babies in Reno with the vitamin D. Got a couple of crouches sleeping on the love seat. Someone came in saying it's insane to complain about the shotgun wedding and the stain on my shirt. Don't oh, believe everything that you breathe. You get parking violations and a maggot on your sleeve. So shave your face with some mace in the dark, saving all your food stamps, burning down the trailer park. Beck. It's Beck. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Loser by Beck. So that's firstly, yeah, uh, everyone's kind of going, wow, Beck. Future Armour did a great episode with him, yeah. Beck, fuck knows what he was on about. Fetch me my Beck-tionary. <laughs> and, but the thing is, right, the actual hook, right, is where the mistakes came in, and I actually thought it was something else. So what is the actual, go on, you say, you say the, 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 the hook, you know, the, I'm, a oh, loser. I'm a loser, baby, so why yeah. don't you kill me? Yeah, but what's the bit they says before that? Open the door. No. No, he goes, see, you've got it wrong as well. In, uh, no, I'm looking at the lyrics and it's son predator. Like that, oh, right? Okay. I thought oh, it was I'm... open the door. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's some kind of, I think it's Spanish. And it's soy un perdidor. Oh, man. Right? It, it, he's far more genius than I gave him credit for. Yeah, but I thought it said soil on my predator. Oh, dear. Soil on my predator. <laughs> I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you film me? <laughs> and you know what's funny is that any other song, I'd be sitting there going, what the fuck is this about? But the fact that Beck's song was nonsense for the like the, the opening verse, you're like, yeah, okay, fine. He's, he's shitting on a predator and filming himself. Do you know what? That makes perfect sense. Or as Martin Thompson says, paint the door. In the door, I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you give me? So okay, well, I thought it was so open the door. So if you get that soy un per door, per- yeah, you can see so open the door written in between them letters. It's just spaced out. The spaces are in the wrong place. Really, is it? Kind of. <laughs> really? So so young. Yum. Open the door. <laughs> door. I'm gonna find out what that fucking means. I bet. I bet even. I bet even Google Translate goes. What the fuck? Hold on. Yeah. Search Google for soy un predador. Google Spanish... will turn around and say, "Yeah, you're trying to decipher loser by Beck. We haven't got a fucking clue." Actually, soy un predador is "I'm a loser" in Spanish. Oh, now, now, who's the loser now? Yeah, but then that means that his song look hook is. So I'm a loser, baby. So I'm a loser. And then I'm a loser, baby. Why don't you kill me? Double barrel buckshot. So I'm a loser. I'm a loser, baby. Why don't you kill me? That makes mm. him. Less- He's just repeating himself. He just said it in Spanish to make it sound more fancy. He has, isn't he? 
<laughs> yeah, Martin Thompson saying Predator scat belongs in a completely different discussion. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah that's a gone. green room discussion, isn't it? Surely, that's green room discussion. We shall not speak of that again. Yeah. Outside, inside, out, living la vida loca. <laughs> I mean, what is living la vida loca? I mean, really, what does that even mean? See, I okay with loser. I've never really sat down and listened to the lyrics. I I totally adore that song. Well, hold on. Then, in which case, gear up for buckle in for verse two. The forces of evil in a bozo nightmare ban all the music with a phony gas chamber because one's got a weasel and the other's got a flag. One's on a pole, shove the other in a bag with the rerun shows and the cocaine nose job. Daytime crap of the folk singer slob. He hung himself with a guitar string. A slap of turkey neck is hanging on a pigeon's wing. You can't get it right. You can't relate. Trade the cash and the beat and the body and the hate. And by the time is a piece of wax falling on a termite. Who's choking on the splinter? In, it's like, what the fuck are you on? Really? Just, just what? I listened to that song so many times on MTV too, and never got the words at all. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's just insane. I'm totally buying this song later yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Need to download it again. <laughs> Ski by Dibby Dib Yo Dubba Dub. That's it, yeah. I mean, it is just wow. Yeah, the rhyming dictionary. Um, yeah. So that that's a that's a two for one because you get lyrics that make absolutely no sense, and that's the thing. To make it even worse is when you sit there and go, "Let's say this in a really cut glass English accent." Oh, okay, right. So you want some lyrics that don't make any sense, yeah? Go for it. Okay, so this could be classed as uh, what did. What did Jim call Barbie earlier on? Uh, it was a novelty record. Yeah, a novelty record. Okay, right. This is quite recent. My kids like this song. It's by okay. Big Shack and Who? Man's Not Hot. You ever heard of this song? Possibly. I bet your kids have heard of this song. Mm-hmm. And Go on, then. It's, it's, by, it's by a comedian who's created his own little alter ego. And mm. has, has written this song as it's a kind of piss take on grime at the moment. So oh God! It, it kind of it is in that novelty thing, and it's kind of the tenacious D where it's laughing at, at its own artistic merits. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to send you the the lyrics for this. Hang on a second. Mm. Where are we? We're on a different browser, aren't we? Damn. Okay. Yep. Hang on. One second. I will drop it in the chat room. Mm. Okay. Have a look at them. Have a look at these. We'll go through them together. Okay, so so we're going to say these things. So we're going to say these things in a cut the glass accent. Yes. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Let's, let's go for well, this. You want to do? You want to do the green bits, and I'll do the the bra- the grey bits because uh, they're they're kind of marked up here. Oh yeah. Um. Looks <laughs> looks like a duo. You're going to get a duo here. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll start from verse one. Yes. Okay. I've just lost it. Oh, well, there we go. Right. Go on in. Okay. Intro and producer tag. Uh, let's not worry about that. Okay. Then fine. Yeah. Go on in. Let, let's not worry about it. Verse one. Okay. Two plus two is four. Minus one. That's three. Quick maths. Every day man's on the block. Smoking teas are See your girl in the park. That girl is an uckers. <laughs> when the ting went quack, 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 you man were ducking. Man, you ducked. Hold tight, Asni, my brother. He got the pumpy by ting. Hold tight, my man, my guy. He's got the frisbee. Shrew. I trap, trap, trap on the phone. Moving that cornflakes, Rice Krispies. Hold tight. My girl Whitney's. My G. On, on, on. On, on the road. Doing ten toes. Like my toes. Like my toes. You man thought I froze. I see a pen girl. Then I pose. Chillin'. If she ain't on it. I ghost. Ha! Look at your nose. Check your nose, fam. 
you donut. Nose long like a garden hose. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> there I is, mean, yeah, it's it, it it's a. I see it as a comedy song, and I, it I, is the the way it's portrayed. It's with comedy songs, I can appreciate them because they got the real. They got the real song beneath them and the weird wasted lyrics on top of them. Mm. Like Tenacious D, they write good music and then mm. I feel sometimes it's waste it's a wasted song because they just take the piss out of something. Mm. And I'm thinking, well, if you can write a really good song like that, why not write a really good song? Mm. So yeah. and I, d- I suppose this is what it, this chap's doing with this, but Hmm. Yeah, it's um, it, it's definitely a, a a different type of song. Definitely, you could say that <laughs> different kind of song. I, I, I listen. This is the kind of shit. Hold on, TikTok by Keisha. If you want some more nonsense lyrics, um, oh, Lucky Minty's going. It deliberately doesn't make sense. It's a piss take. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. See, there's the answer. However. I would like to now do one more, if I may. Yeah. This one, this one will, will link back to an old black dog. So I shall, um, I shall read it out. I'll, I'll skip the chorus that opens the, the thing, but I'll just do it. Here we go. Man-made terror, hungry jaws of death. Y'all don't cross my depths. I'll pause your breath. Because you'll sink you down 40,000 leagues. Bleeding to death, no arms and short sleeves. My world's deep blue. Killer's got to eat too. Oh, no. <laughs> Looking for human flesh to rip my teeth through. Other fish in the sea, but barracuda ain't equal to a half-human predator created by a needle. Jet black eyes, they stare while you sleep. While the Titanic seeks, sinks, I'm the one you're going to meet. Terrified screams, they surround my team. All you see these trails of blood, even God won't intervene. Nightmares of darkness, my appetite is heartless. Even if we're related, you are eliminated regardless. In the deep blue water, underwater walls, half man, half shark, my jaws don't fall. My heart hat is like a shark's fin. <laughs> that man so, is a lyrical genius. I, I think so. I think he, you know, I think he was literally getting the Booker Man Man Booker Prize. See, now, Man's Not Hot is a piss mm. take. And yeah. I, I totally agree with Lucky Mini in saying that. And so it, it, I suppose if it is a piss take, you can't really take the piss out of it because it knows exactly where it sits. But yes. that song, yes, My Hand Is Like a Shark's Fin, it, yes. it's serious, isn't it? Yes, very much so. Mm. Yeah, so um, yeah, I I just what the fuck? I mean, really, you know, LL Cool J thinking, you know, I don't know what he was thinking, really. But he was probably mm. thinking of the condo that he was going to get out of making that movie. Well, probably, but I mean, it's just nonsense. But not as nonsense as we were saying just before we started recording, as the Beatles. The Beatles in their fucking weird era and um, progressive era when everyone was going, wow, this is big stuff. What, the Blue Album era? Well, in the sort of like your Sergeant Peppers and all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. yeah? Allow me to uh, give you the following. Yellow Mother Custard, dripping from a dead dog's eye. Oh, right, I'll stop you there. Go on. I flip in a... I love that song. But what does it fucking mean? Hold on. Crab's a locker, fishwife, pornographic priestess. Boy, you've been a naughty girl and let your knickers down. I am the Eggman. They are the Eggman. I am the Warus. Goo goo jigga jube. I mean. It's supposed to be nonsense, though, isn't it? And? It's. <laughs> oh, how would I say? Uh, it's It's like college nonsense. It's highbrow nonsense. No, it's not. It's just nonsense. That is just written by someone who's whizzing off their tits. They are literally off their mash going absolutely down the rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. And uh, people are saying nods to Lewis Carroll and all that kind of stuff. And that's fine. But 
you know, songs like that are the ones where I turn around and go, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Fuck, fuck songs with lyrics because that <laughs> is going to bug the shit out of me. I'm going to be listening to this thinking, what am I singing? I, I, oh man, I have so much love for that song though. That's, that's my problem with it. I, no, I'm, I'm not having anyone say anything bad to that song. <laughs> oh, come on. No, I, about- I, I, I I still haven't worked out what it is, but they, they, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. Right, but yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm lost for words. But it it, mm. it makes sense to me. <laughs> I'm not saying That's... I'm on heroin at, at the same time that John Lennon was when he wrote that. I don't know if he was on heroin at that time, was he? I think that might be I don't. later. I, I don't know. I know it was definitely mushrooms and maybe a bit of um, uh, LSD as well. <laughs> but I don't know if he went onto the the heroin at that time. But uh, can yeah. I can I give you some creepy lyrics then? Go on then. Right, I'm going to give you Roy Orbison. Right. I drove all night. Okay, yes, I think I know where this is going, but I, yeah, go on. Right, I drove all night to get yes. to you. Is that all right? Yeah. I drove all night, crept in your room, woke you from your sleep to make love to you. And then he I asks, don't... is that all right? Because <laughs> I drove all night. I drove all night. Well, and it's going to take... In age to get back. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Well, I'm here now, and I've woken you up, and I've already started. <laughs> I'm already in you. So, you know, is that all right? Because yeah. I did I'm drive already... all night. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, unless you're going to give me pe- money for petrol, and I am already balls deep. So, you know, is that okay? Is that fine? <laughs> it's but like, really? People fucking love that song, man. It's, yeah. Oh man, there's stuff, stuff like that. Really, yeah. You again, as soon as you start thinking about this stuff, you just go, "What? What are you talking about?" You, you literally are just sitting there going, you know, you are talking about basically driving to someone's house, breaking in, and <laughs> I don't know. It it's just, it's wrong, isn't it? It's um, he's well, completely- okay, so. What has he done wrong there? Okay, so he's driven all night. So maybe he should have pulled over at some point to get some rest. Maybe four hours and Mm. then stop. So he hasn't done that. So he's driving dangerously for one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Earlier on in the song, he said, I was dreaming while I drove. So, Mm. okay, he's not paying attention, undue care and attention while he's driving. So that's two, two things he's been nicked on. Then mm. he crept in the room. So he's entered the house. So that's breaking and entering straight away. Mm. Woke you from your sleep to make love to you. Now, depend. Yeah, it's all about perspective at this point. Is he waking her gently from the sleep? Or is she sitting there going, who the fuck are you? Get out of my house while he's sitting there going. I've come all the way around your house. Yeah. I've come all the way. Is he rubbing his knob in her face straight away? I'm just trying to wake her up. You know, that's, 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 you can't do that, guys. No. No. I mean, yeah. I, I would say that she didn't know because the next line is, is that all right? Yeah. Because it's like he's, he's asking after the event. I mean, it's just, no, that's just wrong. I mean, you know, it's. I mean, it's almost like the other. Well, the one that Lucky Minty just put on the um, chat room. Mm. Which is every breath you take, every move you make, every word you say, every night you stay, I will be watching you. Oh, that's a stalking song, isn't it? Yeah. Every single day, every word you say, every game you play, every night you stay, I'll be watching you. <laughs> and then, oh, can't you see? You belong to me. It's like really, <laughs> wow. Well done. Well done, that man. Yeah. Way to win a round. 
He's like, yeah, anything else? You want to piss through a letterbox? Leave her a dead cat on the doorstep? What you, <laughs> what, what's next? Martin Thompson uh, said, apparently, Lennon was trying to write the song uh, the most confusing he could. Mm. Uh, he received a letter from his from a pupil who said that his teacher was made made the class analyze the Beatles lyrics. So he decided to take the piss and write the most confusing song ever. Yeah. And okay, I get it. Yep. That's, yeah. that's a nice little touch. Which, which also make, means that those lyrics meaning absolutely fuck all are even more only meaning fuck all. Yeah. I mean, they're even more nonsense, mm-hmm. but I mean, both Martin and, Andy mentioned a song which is definitely one where you sit there going, really? The Pina Colada song. Right? You know this song? Yes, I do. That's where he's... Okay, right. Can we get all the words to this? Because this is about sitting next to your girlfriend reading your the wife. paper, isn't it? Your wife? He reads He reads in the paper, you know... Oh, God. I'm let's let's to... get the words up. Let's get the words. This is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Pina Colada song. I mean, because, you know, if you like pina coladas, which is another one that I misheard, and that was much later, and I got it right wrong, which is, if you like penis up your ass. <laughs> and that, that's just, that's, you, you just sort of think, wow. Is it Jimmy Buffett? Um, yeah, Rupert Holmes, Escape, the pina colada song, you know. Uh, it, it, but it is. It's that you know. If you like penis up your ass and getting caught in the ring, you're like, what? Okay, I think no, it's not okay. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, got it. So here we go. So I was tired of my lady. We've been together too long. Okay, like, so straight away he's sad. Yeah, like a worn out recording of a favorite song. So while she lay there sleeping, I read the paper in bed and in the personal columns, which he's reading, obviously, mm-hmm. there was this letter that I read that said, if you like pina coladas, not penis up your ass, because that would have got more attention, I think. <laughs> he would have red ringed that straight away, wouldn't he? I, I, it, poor <laughs> choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the correct choice of words. Well, exactly. Yeah. Red ring that. Well... <laughs> <laughs> no. So you know, if you like pina, yeah. No, anyway, you know what the song. Um, and getting caught in the rain. If you're not into yoga and have half a brain. If you like making love at midnight in the dunes of the Cape, I am in the love that you look for. Write to me and escape. Hmm. Now, then it goes to the guy going. I didn't think about my lady. I know it sounds kind of mean. Do you think? But me and my old lady had fallen into the same old dull routine, so I wrote to the paper, took out a personal ad, and though I'm nobody's poet, I thought it wasn't half bad, saying, yes, I like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, and I'm not much into health food, and I'm into champagne. I've got to meet you by tomorrow noon. So he's not rushing. He's not hanging back. How quickly do these letters go between people? I don't know. I think the newspapers roll them out, though. You know, and it's like, I've got a... Well, the red tape, a bar called O'Malley's, and we'll plan our escape. So he said that he's nobody's poet. Well, he's just copied the first line of her poem. Yeah. So straight not only away. Is, not only is he sort of like cheating on her, but he's a mis- he's not he's a, a plagiarist as well. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, the worst bit is yeah, as Andy says he reuses the words and is proud of his creativity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, really? That's not the worst bit. Because the worst bit... the it's worst bit, Abrams all over again, isn't it? Well, yeah. Because then what happens is they all open a mystery box and then the doors open no, and no, go, go lost. Um, and, um, but then she walks in the... She, I was waiting with high hopes and she walked in the place. I knew her smile in an instant. I knew the curve of her face. It was my own lovely lady. Now, there's a the sound of a man backtracking at a fucking rate of knots, isn't there? Oh, oh man, what? yes. And then she said, and this is the best line, and then she said, oh, it's you. Then we laughed for a moment, and I said, I never knew that you like pina coladas getting caught in the rain, the feel of the ocean, and the taste of champagne. If you like making love at midnight in the dunes of a cape, you're the lady I've looked for. Come to me and escape. And it's like, so basically, he finds out that she, that she put the ad in. Mm. He replied to the ad. 
they both know each other very well, and they were both going to fuck off from the other one. Well, she did it first. Yeah. And, yeah, but the thing is, not only did she do it first, and she was going to fuck off first, but he was right up for it, and he was off for doing the same thing. Mm. So they are both awful, awful people. And then they kind of go, oh, it's you. Oh, um, okay, well, um, well, it's cheaper than therapy. Let's go fucking the dunes. I mean, really? That's it. That That's it. Ha, 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 ha. Never mind. Um, well, at least I know you like cock cheap coconut cocktails wow i totally yeah. forgot about that because i i've i'd always known about the first half of that song mm. I, i'd never really got around to listening to the second half of that song it's one of them things where you realize what's going on you're like oh okay and then you start thinking about the song as it, it carries on yeah so yeah I, I hadn't really noticed about them finding each other well okay yeah very dark yeah, well, there's one other song, which I don't know. This one, this one, Martin Thompson mentioned, mm-hmm. and this isn't this isn't re- this is all just a weird one anyway. You remember Nick Kershaw? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna stop the 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 timer because we got we clearly got loads more to talk about on this. So I'm just gonna stop this because we don't need a timer, but we'll just stop when we ever we want to stop. Timer. Yeah. No, yeah, we... Nick Kershaw. Um, right. What song so Nick Kershaw. Kershaw he did. He did lots of things, you know. Wouldn't it be good to yes. be in your shoes? Yeah. But one song he did, right, was based on based on basically Don Quixote, right? Mm-hmm. And it was called the Riddle. Oh yes, about c- circles in the sand. No, it's not circles in the sand. Is no, it? no, that's 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 um that's uh, what's her name um. Ginger, what's the face from the Goo Goo Dolls? Oh, um, okay. No, 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 from the Go Go Girls. I can't remember what they're fucking called. I know, um, I know the riddle though. Uh, yeah, yeah. But near a tree by a river, there's a hole in the ground where an old man of Aaron goes around and around, and his mind is a beacon in the veil of the night for a strange kind of fashion that's a wrong and a right, but he'll never, never fight over you. Okay, mm. what? <laughs> exactly it's like what on earth is that i mean that's that's the that's the chorus and it actually sounds really good when you're listening to it but when you actually say it out loud you think what on earth is that all about it's like the the main the main verse i got two strong arms blessings of babylon with time to carry on and try for sins and false alarms so america the brave the wise men save Near a tree by a river, there's a hole in the ground where an old man of Aaron goes around and around, and his mind is a beacon in the veil of the night for a strange kind of fashion. There's a wrong and a right that never, ever fight over you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, what on earth is that about? And it's the kind of, it's the kind of song that I go straight to when people say, "Why do you only listen to film soundtracks and video game music?" <laughs> because otherwise, I'd be sitting in the car trying to decipher that shit. But don't you f- have fun trying to decipher this sort of stuff? No, because it annoys me. I it really does annoy me. You find yourself, it's I it's. You find yourself kicking the words over and over in your head going, well, that makes literally no sense. Okay. And as soon as it makes no sense, it makes it even worse. I mean, there's like there's like bands that are what I would call guilty pleasures for me that I really like, but I deliberately, when I hear people singing, I deliberately don't focus on the song. I focus on the melody because if I sat there and thought about the words, yeah. Literally never listen to those songs again. Okay, I, yeah, I get that because sometimes I can disappear into a bass line or a, a guitar rhythm or see how many times they've laid over guitars on, on a song. But yeah, that, that's because I like the construction of a song behind it as well. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's it's like things like um, I don't know if you remember them, Crash Test Dummies. Oh yeah, remember? yeah. Now, I went through a phase of really liking their stuff. I had all their albums. I don't know why. I just went off on an absolute tangent. I was like, right, okay, fine. I'm going to get like 
the early songs and the ghosts that haunt me and um god shuffled his feet that was the only album we had at our house god shuffled yeah. his feet and he had uh, afternoons and coffee spoons on it that's right and yep. and the mm, song which yep. made them blow up in in uh into uh, like a supernova yeah. wasn't it so exactly but the thing is those songs were good and they were even in some cases like in god shuffled his feet where the, all the people sitting around talking to god they're quite funny, but as soon as you start to think about some of the words, you go, oh, no, this just doesn't make any sense. And it makes less sense the more I think about it. Oh, no. And I just kind of and I literally it just turned me right off them. Yeah, the mm song that had. Yes, yeah. there was this boy who uh, I can't remember the words. Not right. I'm gonna have to... oh, there was this boy who. Got into an accident and Couldn't wouldn't go to school. Yeah, but then he finally came back. His hair had turned from black into bright white, and it's just like he couldn't quite have seen it, but always used to be there. Yeah. And it's like, what? What do you <laughs> think there? Is, 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 are you talking about his hair or the fact that it was coloured or oh, what? I don't know. And as soon as you start thinking about it, your brain just goes, that's it. Fuck this noise. Right. Well, okay. I'll take you to somewhere completely different from the, the, the weird and the wonderful lyrics. Okay. Okay. Right. Let me know when you recognize this song. Yeah. Okay. When I was a little bitty boy, my mm. grandmother bought me a cute little toy. Mm. Silver bells hanging on a string. She told me, it was my ding a ling. Oh God, my, my ding a ling, my ding a ling. I want you to play with my ding a ling. Yes, by a man who was later arrested for putting cameras in ladies' toilets. Was he? Yeah, oh, I didn't <laughs> Fucking, know that. Yeah, Chuck Berry got done for basically spying on women in in women's cubicles <laughs> in his own <laughs> club. Well, then, yeah, you know, this this song is totally inappropriate. Then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, man you, you you really need to keep an eye on some of these things okay you know? once i climbed the garden wall i slipped and had a terrible fall i fell <laughs> so hard i heard bells ring but held on to my dingling yeah <laughs> wow yeah. yeah and you sort of think oh isn't he being cute and clever because he's trying to say his cock yeah ah, ha, ha, he's saying he's dingling but then you know that somewhere along the line he was holding on to his singing holding on to his dingling while staring under a cubicle loo door right okay i'm gonna get you another one hang on a second Go on. Right. Go on. And while you're doing that yep. martin thompson said one lyric i always hated is from com pulp's common people I took her to a supermarket i don't know why but i had to start it somewhere so I started there. I, I never got pulp. No. Never got pulp. And I love the fact that in 95, they got Best Newcomer when they'd already been around for 15 years. I thought that was beautiful. <laughs> and while you're also looking, can I just do one song which which always annoys me? Mm -hmm. Right? And I, I'll, I'll get to another thing because this song leads on to something else which really annoys me. But anyway... Is Sidewinder Sleeps by R.E.M. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. The song lyric, Call Me When You Wake Her Up, which I know now is what the actual words were, mm. but I always heard as calling Cheryl Baker up. Yes. And I'm thinking, why are you calling the blonde one from Buck's Fizz? <laughs> yes. What is that all about? <laughs> why are you doing that? What has she ever done to you, Michael Stipe? The other thing that Sidewinder Sleeps does is another sub subset of songs which annoy me because they sound false because they have a giggle in them. Okay. Right. So so he goes, um, uh, for a candy bar, a falling star, all of this stuff is nonsense anyway. So a candy bar, a falling star, or a reading from Dr. Zeus, <laughs> call him when I wake her up. And he just does that bit. Little tiny giggle right in the middle of it. Yeah. And you go, that's as fake as a 25-inch cock strapped to the inside of Millie Vanilli's leg. <laughs> it's just 
no, you that is bollocks. You are trying to seem cute. Take the fucker out. And it's also in uh, a couple of other songs, but the most noticeable in um, Joni Mitchell's Big Yellow Taxi. When she yes. goes, pay paradise, put up a parking lot. <laughs> she laughs at the giggle. Yeah, yeah, at the end. Yeah. There's a couple of other songs that do that, and I just like, oh, fuck. Oh. Uh, okay, but going back to Bob Dylan, there is one. It's Bob Dylan's 115th Dream, I think it's called. And right. he's he's famous for recording songs in one take. And so mm. whenever you hear it on the album, that'll be just them playing around and you'll hear little mistakes all the way through it. But that makes that gives the song a warm feeling because that, you know, no one's perfect. Mm. And on the start of that song, he starts playing the song. And it, mm. It's about him landing on a boat and then everyone getting arrested on the boat and then him trying to get uh, people out. And it, it does go on to a very Beatles guy in the war type thing, which is really weird. Right. But uh, he starts and the band don't join in. They forget to join in. And so right. the, 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 Bob stops and he laughs and then his producer laughs. He comes over on the tannoy and starts to, giggling yeah. away. But it's a very real thing. So that's not fake at all. And that, that kind of works. And it also adds, because it was kept recording, it also adds to the feeling of the song. And then they go straight back into the song, you know exactly where the band should have come in. It's a very, very good song, but yeah. it's not fake. It, or I, I'm led to believe it's not fake at all. No, it's a bit like um, The End of Life on Mars by um, David Bowie, where you can hear someone's telephone starts ringing. Mm. And it's like, you sort of think, well, is that fake? And then it's just like the song kind of fades out and they stop and they actually stop to pick the phone up. And it's like, actually, that's quite a nice little thing because it's like you can hear it sort of the music sort of sort of t- taper off and just stop because the ringing starts about midway through the song. And you're like, is anyone going to answer that phone? <laughs> <laughs> and, it actually, and it actually kind of goes, bing, 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 and there's kind of weird reverb echo thing where it's obviously they've stopped recording in the middle of a big hollow room. And it's like, <laughs> actually, yeah, there's... There's a phone there ringing in the background, and they've just decided to stop. And that 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 I don't mind. It's just just that kind of that kind of let's just jolly everyone along. It's like um, it's also very similar to um, a thing that used to happen in the eighties and nineties with um elect- electronica bands, you know, and 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 house bands and garage bands and hip hop and all this kind of thing, where they're clearly just starting out. And they're not very good, or they're just sort of getting into the big time. And so what they do, and the worst one for this was Utah Saints, but they get a fucking stadium crowd of people going, yeah, Mm -hmm. in the background. It's like, fucking get over yourself, because you clearly haven't even got out of your parents' garage, because I can still hear the music going, you know, that sort of thing. You know, and this bloke going, you Tarsens, you, 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 you Tarsens. And in the meantime, you've got like the sound of about 150,000 people suddenly going, Rah! and you think, no, no, that just takes me out of the song entirely, regardless of whether I like the song in the first place. It just like, it's just so up itself. Delusions put- of grandeur, isn't it? The grandeur, yeah. I mean, it's like the sound, the sound of the crowd is literally like, I don't know, like Michael Jackson had walked into the middle of like the O2. Yeah, it, it doesn't sound like it's recorded anywhere near what they're actually recording, is it? It's no. so fake. It, it's as if, do you remember the old Sherlock Holmes movies where you yeah. have the back projection and it just looks so bad, but it's so funny. As well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And when and and it was always remixers who do that. It was literally the case of people going, well we've got an audience of five people, but let's make ourselves feel better by having big crowds going in the background. And you just go, no, mm. except that you're not very good right now. And you've not got many people listening to you and take it from there. When you end up at the stadium, then record something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take you through another song. Okay. Right. This one is by kiss. Oh God. Right. Go on. And, and the song is called, Love Gun. Now, 
Can you tell me what Love Gun would represent? Someone's penis. <laughs> I really love you, baby. I love what you got. Is this the lyrics or are you just confessing? I'll start the lyrics in a minute. All right, okay. <laughs> Let's get together. We can get hot. No yes. more tomorrow. Baby, time is today. Girl, I can make you feel okay. No place for hiding, baby. No place to run. You pulled the trigger of my love, love gun. gun. <laughs> nice. Classy. I wonder what they're talking about there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Martin Thomas has just gone, oh, dear. I don't know what it is, but I tell you what, that would be a, that would definitely be a sort of pass on Tinder, wouldn't it? <laughs> think that, you know, fuck off. <laughs> that, that's their profile. <laughs> yeah, that's their profile, yeah. It's like, yeah, lady, lady, you can handle my love gun. And it's just like, really? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When when lyrics get, you know, it's bad enough when lyrics are trying to be sort of carefully sexual, shall we say? They try, they try and skirt around it, but when it's so fucking lunk headed like that, it's like, oh come on, what are you like twelve? Yeah, it's, but they got massive dongs, haven't they? And they're have just, they, they're, that song is just swinging it in your face. Really? Have they though? Because I mean. To me, it sounds like uh, it sounds to me like like someone who's making up for the fact that they've got nothing. Oh yeah, they they're clearly compensating, but that song is just swinging it, isn't it? Now, oh, yeah, it's just it's just slapping twelve pounds of meat out of a fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was yeah. a uh, a lyric I wanted to throw past you as well. Go on. This is by Desiree, and it's uh, from the uh, song Life. Oh. No, 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 don't do the terrible rhyming. No, not toast and ghost. Please don't. <laughs> I don't want to see a ghost. It's a, it's a sight I fear the most. Rather I'd have a have piece of toast. toast. Watch no. the evening news. Life. Oh, life. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> okay, what about, what, what about the, um, Snap and Rhythm is a Dancer? <laughs> because I have problems with this because the lyric is I'm serious as cancer when I say rhythm is a dancer. Da I, I don't say dancer. I say dancer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, if you can't sing in the Queen's English, what's the fucking point? Goodness gracious. Goodness me. I mean, seriously. I mean, goodness me. Just, just, just have a word with yourself. <laughs> I would check myself one time. Check yourself. Whereas, whereas I'll tell you what, here's another one, right? Um, Isaac Hayes, Shaft, yeah? Okay. Right. Now, the actual line is, he's a complicated man and no one understands him but his woman. Shaft. Shaft. Yeah. But the way he sings it is, he's a carpet cleaning man and no, no one understands him but his woman. So so basically, Shaft, when he's not being a detective who's a hit with all the chicks, he has a side business cleaning people's carpets. <laughs> he's a carpet cleaning man and no one understands him but his woman. Shaft! <laughs> he's got a business on the side and a cleaning business doing... Always shaft. You hear a knock at the door and he's just shaft with a Kirby. <laughs> with a Roomba. Just, <laughs> I'll leave this here. <laughs> I'll be back in four hours. You've got a herd of Roombas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, off to, I'm off to take care of Mr. Big. Now here's a Roomba. <laughs> Feed off the floor, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be bringing, <laughs> be bringing in no dirty shoes. I'll be back. <laughs> this room was <laughs> this room was bag needs refilling. <laughs> Shift. <laughs> There's only Roomba here for two. Yeah. <laughs> Shift. Shift. Damn right. <laughs> Ain't no putting no shaking back down. Shift. Shift. 
Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm going to give you another a dodgy lyric. You ready? Go on, him. Go for it. This is Van Halen, and why can't this be love? Oh man, this is this is a cracker. Go for it. Well, I don't know if this is the the, the line that you're thinking of, but the the only line I've got here is only time will tell if we stand the test of time. Let's yeah, just, that... let's just ponder on that for a second. Let's just unpack that a bit. <laughs> yeah i mean only time will tell if we stand the test of time but uh, but then the words are but then i can't recall anything at all but i'm sure that we're going all the way (laughs) what now i'm i'm looking on a a website with this lyric on there and below it is the gif of (laughs) someone looking confused (laughs) oh what's his name firefly guy sorry Oh, um, Nathan Fillion. Yeah, Nathan Fillion. You know when he goes, oh, well, uh, um, um, mm. yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh man, yeah. So, no, I, I, I'm totally down with that. I just don't actually know what the fuck he's on about. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, and also, it's, it's like the same as um, like the, the Spice Girls, where it's just like there's words that if you if you um try and unpack them, you think either you're completely racist or you're an absolute fucking idiot i don't know what it is but either way you should shut up right now mm. i mean like do, do you know spice up your life by the spice girls yeah well i know it but i don't know it in and out to know all the words well let me let me give you a sample lyric here yellow man in timbuktu color for both me and you kung fu fighting dancing queen Tribal spaceman and all that's in between. Wow. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, firstly, you know, Yellow Man in Timbuktu. Wow. Mm. Let's just, um, stow the girl power and take the racism down a notch, eh, girls? <laughs> then, then you go. Then they but double. But it's girl power rammed down your throat, so it's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure Sporty Spice could have rammed it down my throat. But anyway, but. <laughs> But you know, but then they double down by saying he's a kung fu fighting dancing queen and tribal spaceman. It's just like wow, shit a brick. It's like go for it. Well done, you. You've you've managed to you've managed to offend pretty much everyone in one single lyric, while while proclaiming that you're somehow you're somehow right up a, right up there in sort of like right on. <laughs> it's like wow, you've met a kung fu fighting Chinese transvestite? I, 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 mm-hmm. uh, Unpack mm. that for a second. I mean, seriously, it's like, really? Mm. Didn't, yeah, didn't. Wow. And and as much as I'd hate to come back to our friend um, Ricky Martin. Oh, no, no. Let's, let's always head towards Ricky Martin. That's fine. Going back to living La Vida Loca, yeah, right? Mm. And she says, before breaking into the chorus, she'll take away your pain like a bullet to your brain. Just what? <clears throat> take away your pain by suicide? Or, or what? Uh, okay, I in the face is actually a way of taking away your pain. Well done, Ricky. Well done. And I wonder if they got that playing on the Samaritans Hotline hold hold oh, pay, dude. <laughs> Seriously, as if what? Samaritans put you on hold. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is that as well. I guess so they, I, I'm feeling so, is important oh, to us. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 standing on a bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Hold on one second. There are sixty-five people in the queue before you. You are what? fifth in the queue. <laughs> Please hold the line and she'll take away your pain like a bullet to your brain. Come on now. Upside inside out. Living the vida loca. And they answer the, the the phone, and all you can hear is a whistling of air <laughs> as it travels yeah. downwards. Yeah, and a and a and a plop. <laughs> plop and oh sound dear. I mean, seriously. I mean, you as soon as you start listening to some of this shit, and that's what I'm saying. You can't. 
I don't know. I just can't listen to any of this shit. Okay, right. So you you won't like this. Mm. Hang on, I've got to find it again. Mm. How do you spell Winona? Winona? Yeah. Hey, who are you talking? What? What? Come hang, on. Hang, hang on. Hang, no, no, no. You're, you're like, I think you'll either hate this or like this. And I'm hoping a bit of both. Mm-hmm. So, have you ever heard of the band Primus? Yes, they did the um, the theme tune to South Park. Oh, oh yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. So, would you be aware of Winona's Big Brown Beaver? I've never met the lady, um, no. and, and I and I, I as much as I liked um, Edward Scissorhands, I didn't look that close. okay right well i I will give you a verse of winona's big brown beaver by primus winona took her big brown beaver and stuck it up in the air said i sure love this big brown beaver and i wish i did have a pair now the beaver once slept for seven days and it gave us all an awful fright so i tickled his chin and gave him a pinch and the bastard tried to bite me Winona loved her big brown beaver, and she stroked it, uh, stroked him all the time. She pricked her finger one day, and it occurred to her it might have been a porcupine. There's, see, so so either he's talking about a beaver in the, uh, shall we say, the lady garden sense. Mm-hmm. Or the fact that she's off her tits and basically on some sort of drugs and basically mistaking a porcupine for a small, furry, woodland, water-based, water-dwelling, wood-chipping a- animal. Or It's a I, song that doesn't know where it is. It's almost like they suddenly realised that about halfway through writing it or recording it that actually they said something that's completely wrong. Mm. And they've gone, oh, shit. Yeah, we've, okay. we've, we've Adam, written yeah. two other verses before this, and it's all about the big brown beaver, so oh, I don't know what to do. Let's turn it to something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, should, hmm. we, should we go through a song, then? Well, before you do that, let me just do one sample lyric for you. Yeah, go on. Then. Which is, Carl, Call Me Maybe, by Carly Rae Jepsen. Yeah? Which is a creepy-ass song in the first place with this lady sort of staring at a guy from across the across the street and then sort of without saying anything to him, hoping that he'll call her. But the the perfect line is, before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. And you should know that. I missed you so, so bad. It's like, how can you miss someone before you've even met them? Mm. And how would they even know? And on top of that, she's rhyming the word bad with the word bad. Mm. I mean, that's just wrong on multiple levels. And just, and it is, it's just all nails in the fucking coffin of just don't write lyrics for your songs. Just make the song and just, just sack all the fucking singers. There's no need to have a singer. All they do is they fuck it up by just putting their hand in a bag of Scrabble. <laughs> I don't know. They just get. They just go in. They just go down the sort of local, the local sort of supermarket and get one of those fridge magnet poetry sets and just throw it at their fridge and go. Well, what does that say? It says love, oob, bop, dee da dub dub do. It's like bop. Yahtzee for writing lyrics, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just what? Why? You know. I mean, you know. Till now, I always got by on my own. I never really cared until I met you. What? And now it chills me to the bone. How do I get you alone? Mm. Which is just right. Okay. So <laughs> what you want me to do? You trying to what? You didn't, you didn't realize you were lonely, but now you do. And now you want to grab hold of me and just drag me off somewhere. Oh, who are you? What the fuck? Yeah. Some anyway, sinister undertone there, isn't there? Okay, well, with that in mind, I'm just going to knock out one more. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. Are we back, are we back to the red ringing the pina colada song? Yeah, right. Try and guess what song this is. Okay, okay. Right. Go on. Number 47 said to number three, you're mm. the cutest jailbird I ever did see. Oh God, jailhouse rock. I'm sure... Uh, I sure would be delighted with your company. Come on and do the jailhouse rock with me. Yeah. Now, it's... if that's ever a come on, I, you know, that is just a clear sign of um, some jailhouse sex, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I sure would like you pumping me is another line somewhere down the line, isn't there? Oh, is it? Yeah, I should sure would like you pumping me. Or is that another one that I've misheard? That might be one you've misheard. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure because it's just oh, jailhouse rock. I'm, hold on, there we go. Google jailhouse rock lyrics. There we go. Pump, I can't see pumping me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, hey buddy, if you can't be no squared, you can't find a partner use a wooden chair. Well, I hope you wipe that down afterwards. Yeah, boil that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, oh, yeah, the whole rhythm section was a purple gang. Um, yeah, it's de- obviously, obviously, the, the pumping me is definitely, um, yeah, definitely in my head. Um, yeah, I, I want you to, oh, yeah, Shifty Henry said to Bugs, for heaven's sake, no one's looking, now's our chance to make a break. Bugsy turned to Shifty and he said, Nix, Nix, I want to stick around and get my kicks. So he doesn't want to leave jail. He wants no. to save for the Umbi Bumpy. He does. Ah, oh, Martin Thompson brought up a classic. Oh, a long- okay, right. Yeah, we do that, and then we do the the last one. Then, yeah, yeah. Now this song, this song is a is 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 not ironic at all. It's basically, I don't know what it is. It's it's not it's not irony. It's just. Unfortunate luck. <laughs> Cause I can do this because I used to have Jagged Little Pill and then I I broke the C D and then I had it again. So I have heard this song more times than I care to mention. I can do this without looking at the lyrics. I can even share my screen so you can see I'm not looking at the lyrics. Yeah. But old man turned ninety eight, he won the lottery, then died the next day. Okay. Let's stop there. Yes. Is that ironic? Where that... that is not ironic. That's just sheer bad luck. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Yes. Okay. Um no oh man turn uh, um he won the lottery, died the next day. It's a black fly in your Chardonnay and a death row pardon two minutes too late. And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. I, and also, I don't like stretching vowels. <laughs> yeah, well, well when, when you do hold a note, it, it is always on the vowel anyway. Yeah. So there's no getting away from that. Yeah. And Martin said he loved the album. It was soundtrack to 95 and 96. I mean, for me too. Absolutely. But you yeah, can't. And Finley Quay as well, I bet. Finley Quay, what are you, nuts? Well, everyone had the Finley Quay album. Everyone had the Alanis Morissette album as well. Finley Quay? What song did he do? I mean, I know I know he did One. a song. Go on. What like, was it? Well, I, I can't remember what it was. Something about know, being in the desert, wasn't it? He had the most annoying voice. Oh, it's just Anyway, so, so yeah. So it's Black Fire and Shod, and they do throw pardon two minutes too late, and isn't it ironic, don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride and you're already late. And it's the good advice that you just didn't take. And who would have thought it figures? Mm. Mr. Play It Safe was afraid to fly. He grabbed his suitcase and kissed his kids goodbye. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. He waited his whole damn life to take that flight. And as the plane crashed down, he thought, well, isn't this nice? And isn't it ironic? So him jumping on a plane and then it crashing is yeah. not ironic because he didn't want to get on planes. Yeah. He just fucking, it's just bad luck. It's not irony. It's just shit luck. Yeah. Anyway, 
So, yeah, so, so he thought, you know, well, isn't this nice? And isn't it ironic, don't you think? It's like Ray Yane on your wedding day, and it's a free ride on the already paid. And it's a good advice that you just didn't take. And life has a funny way of sneaking up on you when you think everything's okay and everything's going right. And life has a funny way and never get up and never get up. Things going wrong and everything blows up in your face. Mm -hmm. A traffic jam when you're already late. That's not ironic. No, a no smoking sign on your cigarette break. It's That's like the law. Yeah, it's like ten thousand spoons when all you need is a knife. Bad preparation. Yeah. It's meeting the man of my dreams and then meeting his beautiful wife. And again, another crime. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and isn't it ironic? Don't you think? And play out to end. So. Shit, luck would have been a better chorus," <laughs> said Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Mark my luck. Everything's going wrong. It's never right. That's why I'm singing this song. <laughs> fuck this song and fuck my luck every day. <laughs> it's not gonna get any better. <laughs> right, we're, we're gonna have to get Darren Diamond to do his version of that song. I think. <laughs> It's sheer luck. <laughs> and everything's going wrong. <laughs> the fucking reason I'm singing this song. There's no irony in this song. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everything in my life's going wrong. I'm on the hold to Samaritans. <laughs> Outside, uh, inside, out is living la vida loca. <laughs> to your brain. brain. <laughs> Stop giving me fucking ideas and answer my phone call. <laughs> your call is important to us. You are number 675 in the queue. <laughs> okay, right. Let's wrap this up then. We have one a last one to go through, don't we? Go- yes, we do. Well, before we do that, mm-hmm. can I do or that I misheard because I wrote these down and I was I yeah, I listened. Yeah, got him. One of them I was listening to on Amazon, um, one of these radio stations, and I hadn't heard it in years, so I just let it play. And it was "Hit Me with Your Best Shot" by Pan- Pat Benatar. Have you heard that song? Yes. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? The problem was that the song came through in a really low quality, and I was listening to it today, and it goes, "Hit me with your pet shark." <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Didn't make sense to me at all. Why are you hitting people with a huge, great, big, fucking toothy fish? Who has a pet shark? Exactly. Who? Who would have a pet shark? Apart and from a Bond would... villain. Exactly. Oh, fucking Blofeld going along throwing sharks at people. You know, while Pat Benatar's going, go on, I can take it. Go Come on, on. Yes, hit me with your best shark. Come on and hit me with your best shark with freaking laser beams on it, fucking head. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, and the other one, which was a little bit more surprising, was Ray Parker Jr.'s Ghostbusters. Yeah. And when I listened to it this time around, and I knew I was listening for lyrics that I couldn't quite hear clearly, and I knew what the song was, obviously. I've mm-hmm. heard it. But this time around, I swear that they don't say about halfway through, they stop saying Ghostbusters and they start saying those bastards. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that goes through. That could be like a studio joke as well, couldn't it? Yeah. Let's and see if we can sneak it in there some point. Yeah. Those bastards. Um, and Steve the- Bob in the chat room says um, the ironic song could be sheer luck like porn when you're blind. Just, just going back to something that we were talking about earlier on. Uh, yeah. And your fucking dog, well, you just cannot find. <laughs> He's off in love. Disabled lay by. <laughs> and now we are going to hell. Um. Anyway. Sorry. Um. And lastly, lastly, 
blind now this one's come up on Black Dog more than a few times with mm-hmm. Darren. Blinded by the Light by Manfred Mann. Okay. Right. Blinded by the Light, revved up like a deuce, another runner in the night. What does that, firstly, what does that mean? But secondly, when you listen to it, it sounds like blinded by the light, wrapped up like a douche, another runner in Roman in the night. And then when you get to the actual lyrics, it's about curly whirlies and hurly girlies. Is it about drugs? Could be, or it could just be that everyone's on it singing. I mean, it really is just nonsense. I mean, hold on, where are we? I, I don't want to close I, I, re- I would lay money on it that that's a drugs reference. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's the, the lyrics are just insane. It's like, let me just, just give, give you this. Blinded by the light, revved up like a deuce, another runner in the night. Right, that gets repeated. Madman drummers bummers, honestly. India's in the summer with teenage diplomats in the dumps with the mumps as an adolescent pumps his way into his hat. Wow. Yeah. There's a With vision the... I'm not going to get out of my brain. Yeah. What's what, what's Jacob doing right now? No, Where... no, 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 no. Where's your hat? <laughs> it <wasn't. laughs> Wipe that down. Yeah. With a boulder on my shoulder, I'm feeling kind of older, and I tripped on a merry-go-round, and it's very unpleasing, sneezing and a wheezing, the cali crashed to the ground. No, that's just trying too hard. Yeah, some silicon sister with a manager mister told me what I got, what it takes. And she said, I'll turn you, I'll t- turn you on, Sonny, to something strong. Play the song with a funky break. And go kart Mozart was checking out the weather chart to see if it was safe outside. And little early Burley came in his curly whirly. The fuck? And asked me if I needed a ride. So yeah, don't don't wear hats and don't eat a curly whirly around the Manfred Man, because there's all sorts of man milk floating about. Flipping hell, man! <laughs> right, let's move on to this 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 uh, last thing that we're going to be doing then. Right. Okay. Have you got them up? <laughs> I do. Oh wow! Do. This is quite long, actually. Flipping hell. Okay. Right. We'll we'll rattle through this. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, so do you want to do this, the the kids rap bit? I mean, I can do the lot if you like. No, we, we'll just we'll just go through it line by line, I suppose. There, okay. there are some highlighted bits there as well. Okay, I haven't got that version. Hold oh, on. Okay. I'm just gonna have a look. Uh, just gonna have to look in Genius dot com. <laughs> oh God, Big Man Shack's still there, is he? Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, what we're gonna do is. The zip zap rap. The zip zap. We're just going to go run through it. The devastating Dave, or devastating Dave, the turntable slave. Yeah. Now, for those of you who don't know, devastating Dave, the turntable slave. This came up because essentially he had this this picture of himself, um, which is so eighties it practically threw me back in time. Mm-hmm. Um, someone I knew at Cartoon Network used to have this as their icon on their chats. And um, yeah, his name was Dave as well. And after that, I wanted to listen to it. And we listened to it on Black Dog Podcast. And it is just nonsense. It is like, it is like, um, what's his name? Um, the fucking, what was it? The room guy, um, ah, Tommy Wiseau. He's like Tommy Wiseau tried to sing Just Say No by the Great and Chill Band. Oh, man. Oh, see, I've, I've just... see, it, And it's true, isn't it, though? Yes. It's, yeah, it, it is, yeah. Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs over and over and over are again. You, are you saying Devadate, Devastating Dave is the Zamo of, of, of ad, yeah. adult TV? Yeah, he's adult TV, American adult TV, home-funded Zamo. Wow. I mean, it is. I mean, we are, we've we've uncovered so many conspiracies tonight. I think it's a powerful. According to um, according to Genius dot com, it is a powerful anti drug drug statement. And this song is perhaps the most famous as a regular on people's worst album art list of all time. Oh, just the album art list. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, because because the lyrics are are beautiful. 
So, so should we go through this? Well, okay. They they are say no, no, say no, no, say no to drugs, say no to drugs, say no to drugs, no to drugs. There we go. Great. It is. It is such a powerful statement. We are off to a flyer. So, yeah. so then what happens is Dave steps up. He steps up to the plate and he's going to deliver a, a massive punch. He's going to deliver a massive punch. And Martin Thompson's just abandoned the chat room. Yeah. Night all. <laughs> he's pulled his parachute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rip cords pulled. Everyone's out. I don't blame them. Um, and shooting up into the sky, he goes. <laughs> I hope he hasn't got one of those um, those Hawker Harrier, uh, the, the, was it the, the Red Arrows jump? bags uh was it ejector seats because they don't they don't have the rip cord that pulls at 300 meters oh Christ. no I, I i guess that he's got one of them sky hooks that they used in batman oh yeah yeah they just yeah just a, a c1 c130 comes in just yanks him straight off the roof of a of a hong kong <laughs> hotel um yeah martin baker um so yeah it, so basically yeah so devastating dave decides he's gonna hammer the, the no to drugs song the message home with this rip dibby zap da zip zap dap do wap this is what they call the zip zap rap hitch a key be back in a sec zipper zapper zapper gonna spend your whole check zip dip zap a zip wit a wabbit <laughs> zippity dipper whip you got the cocaine habit scooby dooby Bipper zip zop blam. I'd start with a quarter and now it's a gram. Zoom zoom with a scooby doo bop. Buy yourself into the projects you're trying to cop. Rip a rap, I wrote with a rhyme. You better call the cocaine hotline. Zip dip a whip, you call them on the phone. A zipper dip a whipper, yo habit be gone. So before we get any further, I want to know what he's got against Scooby Doo. What have we learned at this point? What have we learned at this point? We've learned that you can get a cocaine habit from watching Scooby Doo. I think that's I think that's essentially it. That's what we've come to the conclusion is that frankly Scooby Doo would have got away with it if it wasn't for the meddling kids. Well, indeed, I think I think he's got to the heart of the fact that Shaggy is actually a bit of a stoner. And, you know, frankly, those Scooby snacks you know, as as the fun loving criminals once said, you know, running around robbing banks or whacked on the Scooby snacks. Mm. And I think, you know, I think we've we've cracked it again, you know, that actually Scooby Doo is a major league drug pusher. This is amazing. It's almost as stunning as having the La Vida Loca guy. What was his name? Ricky Martin in a closet. Oh, yeah. Ironically, in a closet. Why would he be in a closet, though, Elton? So he could step out the closet? I don't know. <laughs> Given that we haven't actually played that bit. We haven't, have we? Chip. No. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to you wanna explain to the listeners what... No, no, that... no, no, no. But, but well, okay. All right. Shall I, shall I carry on with Devastating Dave? Because he's <laughs> Please do, yes. Fun. Okay. It's been a flip-flop day and you haven't ate. You could see it on your face and you're losing weight. Rip, rap, rop, smoking back to back. Zip, dip, whip, you've had a heart attack. From playing baseball like Willie Mays, ha- had you in the hospital for 30 days. Two consecutive sentences I slightly understand there. Carry on. Yes. Yeah, but what has playing baseball got to do with drugs? See, he's he's had enough taking the piss out of Scooby Doo. Mm. He's now moved on to baseball. He's gone on to uh, fair time sports. Yes, exactly. And now you're in hospital because you've watched baseball. Um, and then he goes flip flop flam, and now you're back. A zipper dip whip in your new Cadillac. Ha chicka chicka, choking on a bone. He's smoking again. But is he though, or is he choking on some cock? Yeah, he could have a sausage in his mouth, couldn't he? Yeah, he could be at this point. He could. Oh, maybe he's doing the. Um... He's earning cash for his drug habit. Oh, what was that film with Leonardo DiCaprio that I love? Oh, 
basketball diaries. Yeah, the basketball diaries. When he goes into the toilets to to get a bit of money, maybe that's what that's. Because mm. he, he well, needs to pay for his new car that he's got, his Cadillac. Yeah, and his drug habit. Yeah, and so now he, he needs to choke on a bone. Indeed, and then just to really hammer that message home, he goes zipper ripper rap. You got to leave them drugs alone, kids. Rap. To which a bunch of school kids, sounding like they're about eight, say, don't be a fool. Stay in school. Don't get high and drive a car. You will not get very far. Wise words from kids and possibly the same kids that were on the Pink Floyd album, The Wall. Yes. Or singing on top of um, War Is Over, Very Merry Christmas by John Lennon. That's right. Yes. Which were drowned out by the... um, by the uh, for the teacher and under the bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh yeah, same which kids. Is another, every song, which is another song which makes no fucking sense. <laughs> sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel like my only friend is the city I live in, the city of angels. Lonely as I am, together we fly. So are you alone or aren't you? Anyway, the zip zap rap. No, let's not do any more of the zip zap rap. I think we've done it. Okay. Because <laughs> it's just literally like someone just fell asleep and just rolled their face across the keyboard for the rest of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's copy it's, and paste, isn't it? Yeah, zoom, boom, zip goes your brain. You know it's because you've been smoking cocaine. ta 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 talent Everybody has it. So use it. Gallant. Right. Leave me. Yeah, let's let's leave it there. <laughs> I think so. I think we're done. So, well, I I hope everyone has learned something from tonight. Not yeah. quite sure what. Never to listen to two old farts trying to decipher modern day songs. I think is probably the takeaway from all of this. Possibly yes, because we we just turn out to be sounding like old men just moaning about lyrics that we don't really understand. Yeah, and I never even got to the fucking auto tune and Drake. Have you heard that bloke? Oh god. Um, Apart from the fact he's named after a male duck. <laughs> Apart from that problem, he's got he, he he's got no he's got no singing talent whatsoever, but what he does have, he has the ability to use the fucking sound auto cue oh, kind of that that's a totally different show, auto cues. Yeah. And, and oh, auto tuners. Yeah, auto tuners. Yeah. yeah, and he does this thing of kind of hey there, baby, well, sort of thing. I'm gonna make it off the. It's just oh fuck, I'm telling this tit. Go on, sing live. Go on, take the microphone off and do a cappella. I bet you can't. You fucking talentless hack. Got no chance of doing that. Anyway, right. Well, let let's wrap this one up. Um, thank like you. All <laughs> That was a very good Devastating answer, Dave Unplugged. No, I don't think so. VH1 behind the music. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's joined us in the Mixler room. Uh, I'm sure that... Um, God bless them. Yeah. God, you... you <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. You've you got some staying power. Either that or you've just left your computer on <laughs> and disappeared. So yeah. thank you to everyone who's done that. If you want to join us next time out, please pop along to mixler.com forward slash road to media. Mm. and you can join in there and we've had lots and lots of comments there thank you very much for for doing all that we totally enjoyed that and uh pop along to the shonky lab facebook group you can find out what the next show would be in the series i have an idea i don't know if i'm going to do it just yet but i will uh, post it up into the shonky lab group as soon as i find out uh lee thank you very much for joining me do you have uh, anything to promote um, yes, you can hear me and yourself and Darren and Jim on the Black Dog Podcast every week. Um, and you can find us at blackdogpodcast.com. You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on the Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash group slash the Black Dog Podcast, Twitter called Black Dog Podcast, and, um, a newly launched Patreon, which just to support the show and various running costs and what have you for putting putting this show back together, putting this show together without bits falling off or bursting into flames, right. which is patreon.com slash black dog podcast. And anything you can support, even if you just share the link or give us a rate and review, especially for Shonky Lab as well, 
um it all adds up and it's all brilliant excellent yes yeah please throw some shekels their way and if you can throw some shekels our way we, every podcast has now got a patreon hasn't that haven't they sure yeah, exactly. yeah we i think we're the last one we were last ones in yeah. we had lights out as we left the door you held your breath the longest that's all it was yeah listening to this listening to this podcast i think everyone's going to rescind their their support before we get paid <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. Thank you to everyone who's listened. Thank you to everyone who's downloaded. Please pop along to iTunes and give us some reviews over there. You know, we, we haven't had reviews for... Uh, it, it's gone a bit stagnant over there, but, you know, I mm. thank everyone who has done that in the past. So, you yeah. know, always appreciated. And until next time, it just leaves me to say, please leave quietly. This is a residential area. The answer, my friends... And they're blowing in the wind. The ants are all blowing in the wind. And they're all going, they're, they're, they're tiny little ants, and yet they're screaming Bloody Mary. If you yeah. zoom in, you, or you mm. zoom out, you can't hear ants screaming. But if you zoom in, they're going, Fuck it out! As they're blowing the wind. Yeah. Well, somebody stuck us in a, t- in a Roomba. <laughs> well, what, what was Roomba. No, Shaft's yeah. Roomba. Shaft's Roomba. Yeah. Shaft is going, going to hoover up those ants. <laughs> clean them out. And <laughs> clean I understand them. you got an ant problem. Shaft. Shaft. Damn right. Anyway, right. Thank you to everyone who's listened in the chat room. I'm now going to turn it off to save yeah. all of our sanities. Uh, thank you. You've been amazing as always. So um, we'll yeah. catch you next time. So bye-bye. Bye.